What is going on guys? I recently picked up the M18 inflator. I've had the M12 inflator for a while now. We're gonna compare them in this video, see which one you should get. First thing you're gonna notice is just how much smaller that M12 is than the M18 inflator. Next, we're looking at hose length. On the M12, we are 27 inches from the tool to the end. On the M18, we are 38 inches. So we've got 11 inches more of hose length. For this test, I'm using an XC8 in the 18 volt and an XC4 in the M12 inflator. Just wanna make sure we have plenty of power. Uh, both batteries are fully charged. The M18 battery slides into that slot right there. The M12 battery goes right here on the bottom. When you look at the screens, they are very similar. You got full battery. This is your target. Here's what it's reading currently. So once you just dial it into what you want, we get the same thing up here. This one actually doesn't show a battery indicator. My guess is that's because on these, you have them on the front of the battery, but same thing. There's your target. Here's what it's currently reading. You just dial it into whatever you want. Another difference between these two is the M12 will go down to five PSI, the lowest it'll go. Whereas with the M18, it's actually 10 is the lowest pressure it'll go to. Our first test, we have got a 33 inch regular uh, Goodyear tire that we're gonna deflate down to 15 PSI. And then we're gonna time how long it takes to get it all the way back to 30 with each inflate. So right now I'm just gonna check the, the pressure. So we're at 29 right now. We're gonna deflate this thing down to 15 and then see how long it takes. Okay, we got this down to uh, 15.5. Let's go ahead and let a little more out. So there we're at 15 on the dot. Let's see how accurate. Starting with the M12, we'll go ahead and turn it on. Make sure that's on there nice and tight. And 15.5, so the last one was bouncing 15, 15, five. So that part looks pretty accurate right out of the gate. So now we just gotta get this set to 30. If you hold it, it goes by five increments. If you just press it, you get one PSI increments. So we've got it set to 30. We've got our stopwatch here. Set that up there. See how long this takes. So we ended up at four minutes and 47 seconds. It stopped right at 30 PSI. We used, looks like one bar of battery. So now, once again shows right on 30 here. Let's see what our gauge shows. See how accurate it stayed throughout the entire time. So right on 30. So pretty impressed with that. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and lower the pressure back to 15. We'll repeat that same process with the M18 inflator. So we've got it down, it's reading uh, 15, 15, five, kind of bouncing back and forth. So let's do the same test here. 
Turn our M18 inflator on. Make sure this is on there nice and tight. So accuracy there looks pretty good. Showing 15.5. Just like the other one was. Now we'll go ahead and set it to 30. There we go. Get our timer back out here. And do the same test. So we ended up at two minutes and 13 seconds. Once again, right on at 30 PSI. Just like before, go ahead and turn this off. We'll check our pressure using our gauge. See how accurate we were. Right on, 30 PSI. Now what we're gonna do is I've got a decibel meter here on my phone set up. I'm gonna have it in the exact same place, the inflator against the tire, so we get the same distance on each test. I don't suspect this thing is super accurate, so I'm not paying attention to how many decibels it makes per se, but what it'll do is it'll give us a good comparison between the two systems. So it looks like it came in, it was right around 96 pretty much the entire time. So we're gonna say 96 decibels. Now the same test with the M18. So that one came in Almost the same 96, it bumped up to 97. So the M18 is just barely louder, but uh, normal, real life, I can't really tell a difference. They're the same volume. Some final thoughts. They're both great. They both have their purpose. It really just depends on what you're gonna use it for. If you're gonna use it for lawnmower tires and your Honda Civic to air up the tire every once in a while, top it off, M12 is smaller, it's cheaper, more compact. Uh, we'll do fine in those scenarios. If you've got a truck, a Jeep, you know, things with big tires on them, the M18 is sure nice. Just you saw how much faster the thing is. Uh, with that big battery, you know, I could go around and do all the tires on that Jeep. Where I think this one, even with this uh, 4.0 battery in it, I think if I had four low tires, you know, if I had to go from 15 to 30 on all four of them, I think the M12 battery would give up before I got there. Where this one, of course I'm using a, an 8.0 battery in this one, but I think even with the 4.0 or the 5.0 battery, which is a lot more common, I could do all four tires. It just, it's that much faster. Um, this one has a fan built into it, so I don't know about longevity, if I'll have any issues there, but you know, for throwing it in the trunk of a car, this one's awesome. Um, but for all around use, truck tires, things like that, I would go with the M18. Another note, on the M12, the hose kind of wraps around it and snaps in. Or this one has got um, this thing to wind the hose up on the back. Honestly, this one is a little more streamlined, a little more easy. This one, uh, it's kind of cumbersome to wrap this thing all the way around and then it almost puts the hose in kind of a weird position when it's all locked in in storage. If you guys are trying to decide which inflator to get, the M12 or the M18, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to hit that like button. I'm going to throw a video down in the description from Project Farm 
The guy does an awesome job of in-depth comparisons um, across all different brands. Um, he's not sponsored by anyone, so his videos are great because you know you're getting the truth. He actually called out that M18 as the winner in his test, I believe. So I'm gonna throw that uh, video down in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.